Hi, everybody. This is my movie idea. It is titled The Silver Tongue Thief. Now, the plot of the movie is there's a boy who is in high school who has a knack for snatching things. He is the silver tongue thief. Him and his two best friends have to steal a special artifact known as the Ruby's Heart so that they can stop their evil principal from making summer last forever. Which sounds pretty cool because there's no school, but he's gonna put them in summer school. So they'd be in summer school forever, which sucks and you can't play it all. So this is the main character. He's played by Timothy Chalamet because he's got the look of like, he's real smooth and suave and very skinny. And I personally think he looks like me. Um, he's like, He's, he comes from a long bloodline of master thieves, but he doesn't know it yet because his parents were killed. And he was adopted by two cops. Boo! And uh, he, learned, he slowly through the movie learns of his past through, through multiple dream sequences. And like he says things like, Ah, miss, your eyes look wonderful under the moonlight. And while she's like swoon, he like steals her, he's like steals her pearls and he makes out in the night. And like, that's his fit. He wears a long black and like a sleeveless sweatshirt. And uh, he may be a master thief, but he needs the help of his best, his two best friends. Oh, I, <laughs> For, this is backstory. So I already said his parents were killed and how he has master thieves. But like, here's an example of like who would play them. You have uh, my guy, Ansel Elgort as like a, like a 20s like bank robber, like Bonnie and Clyde. Frank Ocean, who's very cool, he would play like, a, like an ancient Chinese thief type thing. Um, Ryan Gosling is from the future, he's a future thief. Cowboys, Rajon Rondo as himself. He, uh, he's got a lot of skills, like on the court. So they're all master thieves, but they don't, like he used it to get skills in the game. That's like a like a medieval thief. That's David Bowie, and uh, this might be a deleted scene. Christopher Columbus, uh, he, not not the best guy, but he stole an entire country. So take that into account. That's uh, so that's his bloodline, and he has like multiple dreams where they like speak to him, and they're like, "You are a master thief. You must use these abilities." So now. Onto his best friends. You have Wade Warpzone, who's like, he's like a tip, he's like a super nerd. He uh, he's played by a popular Fortnite epic gamer, Ninja, which I think will bring in a lot of the youth. Like kids love him. Um, he uh, he spends a lot of time in his room on his computer, where he like knows how to hack stuff. Like for example, if the school lunch is like mystery meat, he'll change it to like pizza, and he gives like them all good grades and stuff, so they don't have to do any homework. Um, yeah, so he's like the typical nerd, and he like gets through like security systems for them, and he's like the genius. And then on the, like the flip, the you have like the brawn, uh, played by Hannibal Burris, who is a full-grown man. But he has a young face, so I think he can get by in high school. Because like they were all adults like high school musical. But he's more of the funny guy. He uh he's very like big and strong. <laughs> and he's he's kinda dopey, but he rides around on a big wheel and like he's very lovable and like the people would really be into him. He also has like a pet like rodent that's kind of like a mix of Scooby-Doo and the naked mole rat from Kim Possible. Like, he's like, I don't know about this, my punch. And he's real funny. And yeah, he, um, like I said, he does something heroic at the end, which I'll get into more. <laughs> now we have Ray Warp Zone, which is Wayne Warp Zone's like jerk brother. He'd be like a senior. He's like the coolest kid. He's like the captain of the wrestling team. He's a bit of a static character, he just kind of gets in the way. He works with the main antagonist, who I think is next. Um, he, uh, he like tries to foil all their plans, and he's like, 
What are you looking at, pork? But uh, he's the captain of the wrestling team, but Pudge, his heroic deed would be like, where do you think your guy's going? And Pudge is like, Aah! and he like takes him down, and they can uh, get to like the big finish. Now, this is the main entry. Oh, it's also, it's also played by Channing Tatum, who, I think he's in like high school movies a lot. Then you have um, the main antagonist, Principal Life Squeeze, played by Kramer, who, he's, he's had a bit of a rough patch. Uh, he, um, he's super evil. He was a member of the gang that took out Silver Tongue Beef's parents, who will be explored in like sequels and stuff, to like learn more about them. He, uh, he's the guy that also wants to take the jewel, but he has like an evil cane and a pet boa constrictor, which he's the coach of the wrestling team, which is how he gets in bed with Ray Warp Zone and they team up. Not like actually, sorry. <laughs> uh, so because of his love for snakes, he has, he's really good at wrestling because he has like a, a move that he learned from snakes where he like, we CGI it, he like wraps himself around his victim and squeezes the life out of him. Hence the name Principal Life Squeeze. Like, there'd be a scene where, like, this little kid gets called to the principal's office, and he's like, Hello, Timothy. Hi. He's like, So, I heard you've been acting out in your classes a bit. Hello, Timmy Timmy. Do you like snakes? Yeah, I love reptiles. Well, then you'll love me. <laughs> and he squeezes himself around, little Timmy. Squeezes the life out of him, and then the next day, over the announcements, he's like, Good morning, students. Unfortunately, little Timmy will not be in class today. He had to <laughs> transfer schools. So, yeah, he's the, the bad guy. So, on the flip side of the bad teacher, you have the good teacher, played by Halle Berry, someone I personally look up to. She's Mrs. Apple Smile, and she's the history teacher. And she's like, she kind of knows what Silver Tongue Thief's up to, but she like understands his trauma. So, um, she's like, oh, you boys. When she like sees him scheming, like she doesn't crack down on them and like give them detention. But she's a history teacher. So, after Silver Tongue Thief has all these dreams, she's kind of like the mom figure of the movie. He, uh, he does some research of his own and learns his backstory, where he learns all the moves to take down Principal Life Squeeze and then like the rest of the bad guys in the sequels and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, so love and interest, Ricky Bing <laughs> Played by Drake's very strange, like, young girlfriend. <laughs> she is the possessor of the Ruby's heart on her necklace, and she's, like, very nice. Like, she says nice to the weird kid. She's real, she's, like, very wealthy and stuff. Like, she has supposed like a prom party and all that. But, uh, yeah, so she's right warp on his girlfriend. And, like, they obviously don't click that well because he's, like, a, he's abusive and stuff. He's not, like, bad abusive. Like, shut up, okay? I'm begging with my guys. And so, uh, Silverton Thief, he's a natural, um, like, I don't want to say womanizer, but, like, he, he can do some good convincing on people. So, like, he swoons her. And, like, they end up going to prom because Pudge beats up Ray Warpzone and leaving a wide open gate for a silver tongue thief to take her to prom. And, like, at the, after the prom, they're on, like, a big cliff. And he's, like, he's facing out the cliff, her back's to it. And he's, like, bring me baby face. Do me a favor, turn around. And she turns around, and right as she does that, fireworks go off in the shape of a heart. And she's, like, oh, my God. And she turns around, and he's gone. It's just a pile of playing cards. And that's the end of the movie. And it's like, oh man, what's gonna happen next? This is gonna happen next. Oh we have a, Wait, Warp Zone would probably, he could, uh, like a, with his like hacker stuff and like gamer stuff, kids would like that. So I think it wouldn't be good enough for like a, like a theater movie like this one. But like, it'd be on like Nickelodeon as like a half real movie, half cartoon. But then we get into like the deeper Silver Tongue Thief lore with Silver Tongue Thief 2, The Kiss of Death, featuring Emma Stone, and she'd probably be like, like, hello? Oh. 
She'd be, <laughs> she'd be like some like character. I haven't thought that one out that well. But uh, like J.K. Rowling, she wrote the ending of Harry Potter first, I think. So I have a big plans for Silver Tongue, the three <laughs> angels can't crack safes, where they go to heaven and they steal the key to heaven's gate. So Silver Tongue Thief can meet his family that he was robbed of as a boy. And like he looks pretty weathered in that picture, so that it kind of just naturally came to me. Now movies aren't free. Colleges make a lot of money, I think. I don't know though. So, I mean, I've done the hard part. I just need the money now and I can get it rolling. And like with the stars that it casts, it'll pay for itself in the first week. So is anybody interested in uh, helping me out? That's a, that's, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a very good idea. I'm, thank you for supporting my idea today. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Thank you very much.